Are you muted? Yeah. There we go. Hello. Hello. <clears throat> left my coffee in the other room. Hold on one sec. This is getting sweet. I'm going to impromptu chat with Lara and Duncan. Things are happening in the background. Good morning. Good morning. How art thou? I'm fair to Midland. Sort of, oh, yeah. uh, waiting for my vaccine and uh, hoping oh, it's going to get better once I get punctuated. Everything will go back to normal then. Yeah, I'll just be a mindless drone and just fit in and not have any more problems. Well, it's really hard in this day and age because I didn't realize um, that um, the mentality of the common folk is, um, oh, there's a problem. There's a problem there. <laughs> it's, it's pretty bad. I can see it and I can feel it. And gosh, is it ever just, it's almost painful. Well, it is painful. Have you been opening your, your store at all? Yeah. And are, are people coming in with masks and unmasked or all masked? Um, mostly masked, I'd say. But there's some that don't. I don't discriminate against people whether they want to or not. Mm. And I don't, I actually don't put any signs in my store that have any bit of, you know, yeah, all my, all, every sign in my store is a positive message. So I don't Has the license guy been guy? Has the city license guy been by to uh, assess you in any way? No, <laughs> hope not. <laughs> That'd be weird. Hmm. I don't know. I don't, yeah. Well, that's cool. I didn't know. So you can get different backgrounds on this thing? Yeah. I mean, all you got to do, if you just go down to stop the video down below on your left, it mm -hmm. says choose virtual background or choose a video filter. The filters are sort of like in front of you. Oh. And then the backgrounds are behind you. I guess that's sort of obvious. And then you can just change it. And then depending on your lighting, sometimes it works very well and sometimes it, it's a little blotchy. But I find for the most part it's pretty good. And you can, I mean, and then you can oh, just yeah. change. I gotta it. download it and stuff. No, it's just part of. Are you on your phone or your laptop? I'm on a pen. I'm glitching. I didn't hear. Are you on your phone or laptop? Laptop. Okay, so if you, ah. yeah, there you go. Hey, hey. Is that fun? Oh yeah, I like it. And so you you could make a background and put Nini News at the top. And you got your set, or you could just take. You know, I've just I I downloaded tons of them. I mean, it's uh, <laughs> there. I you could said. you could you could use this one. Oh yeah! You know, be on the Nini News. A TV. Uh, oh, that's neat. That's what I was cool. trying to say yesterday, just about you know the the technology is ca caught is so simple. You don't need the green screen now. You don't even. You know, that was the big thing. You know, can you change your background? Hmm. Hey, I like that. You're in a TV. This is cool. Yeah, that's in the filters. Yeah. Oh, neat. Okay. And then all you do is, you know, you you pop it out when you close your meeting and then you just load into YouTube and that's all you have to do, actually. Oh, that's not bad. You, you can do your own editing. You can just pause. So... Oh, you, you basically don't even have to, you know, change for editing. You just pause it, change your set, change your look, and then start start again. And, and you, you're basically doing your own editing ahead of like as you go. Hmm. Okay, okay. I could I have to learn those skills, but yeah, I could do that. So you didn't know that. 
I didn't know that. No, I didn't know that with the Zoom. Yeah. I would. So essentially. I, I was you, thinking more like that I was, yeah, got to get a good thing on my computer. Got to get a computer that works better. And uh, yeah, with the camera, this is actually my ex-boyfriend's, ex-ex-boyfriend's <laughs> um, uh, laptop here. Okay. So I don't feel like, I don't know, I feel like it might go. But away. still, like, again, like if you have Zoom <laughs> and YouTube, you, that essentially, and then you can load into a website. So if you just, you know, do mm -hmm. YouTube, embed it in your website. And then you can play with it, right? I can take out things if you want before you. Yeah. yeah. Just take and your video. And if you want to get fancy, you can uh, bring it into an editing program and then and play in there. Okay. That sounds cool. It seems like good quality, I guess. Yeah. I, don't really need... I mean, I don't want like the best lighting on me. Then you'll see it. Everything. Yeah, I mean, all you got to do is throw on some, some lights, right? I mean. Yeah. That's and what I mean. And then just like. And they've got that like circle light and you can see that weird circle light in their eyeballs. And I feel yeah, like they're. Yeah. yeah. Kind of Get one yeah. of those from dollar store or whatever. And, you know, go ahead. I mean, it's just, you shouldn't let the technology stop you from doing the creative side. And if you're not. True. Like True. there's no real reason not to output a weekly output. Mm -hmm. And and then just, you know, no matter what, it's, it's like the fear of the block is, oh, they're not going to like me or it's not this. You can't think about that. You just got to have fun making it. Yeah. Yeah. I think, um, oh, there's an almond croissant over here. I think, uh, I don't know, maybe like my block, <clears throat> pardon me, is probably a lot to do with the fact that I've, I've always wanted to look perfect before I do anything. I don't know. Like I'm quite particular with all that. It's one of the reasons what yeah, it stops me a lot in my store, actually. It's like, oh, yeah, this is good. But then it's going to, I need this or, yeah, it's just not, yeah, perfectly organized. Anyway, I just really need to focus better and be better at that. I'm really spinny. Well, yeah. I mean, the thing about coaching. I learned a lot about things. <laughs> you learned a lot about what? I learn a lot about spins. <laughs> yeah. How to but, control, like, you still like, hold your access in the middle of a spin. It's kind of. It's well, a, I mean, the thing is, you essentially have no accountability. Right? What do you mean? Well, when you're a lone entrepreneur, when you're a single contractor, when you're working on your own, you're, you're not. The main thing is, like, there's, there's no, there's nobody there saying you have to get this done Tuesday at six. Because if you were working for somebody, they'd say, you have to get it done Tuesday at six and you do it. And so you, so mm -hmm. when you're either working with a coach or you're working with an employer, you, mm -hmm. know, you, you get things done you wouldn't normally do by yourself because, you know, we're not the best with self-discipline. And, and you're, you've created a lifestyle that is, you know, many people would love. It's a beautiful lifestyle, but, you know, it, it has its downfalls. Mm -hmm. It's and, my, also my own accountability as well, like oh, I'm going to go home and sew tonight and I don't do it, you know, I'm just abandoning myself again and again, you know, like I'm not, I'm not focusing properly. And that's always been the thing. But also, I don't know, I think with, with all the thinking I'm doing, I'm actually doing something. <laughs> I've got pages, pages and pages of things that I've been writing. Um, and I just, do. I just gotta get. Just wait. I gotta get my cord for a sec. Just wait a sec. Okay. So yeah, I'm I'm so spinny. Over the years, I've had so many ideas and so many different, you know, ahas. Like this is it, and this is what this is what I can do to change humanity. <laughs> and then I pedal back and be like, okay, this is what I can do to change you know, maybe a belief system in one person or, you know, like, or help or maybe do ch or change a flower pot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> maybe I should just change my socks, man. <laughs> I can barely change those <laughs> in the meantime. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, so I guess like when you're, when, 
I had something happen like last week that's fairly life changing. I, I I've been working with the LCL Foundation, and we've been meeting weekly for a couple of hours. We're working on a, a curriculum for a whole year for this 13 teams and 144 people, and working with five other sort of uh, international uh, web arch systems architects and three people from LCL. Hmm. And we're trying to fit together our work in such a manner that we can come up with a program. Wow. And it's the first group I've stayed with over time. And, and I just I just made the finally made the decision of I'm staying no matter what, because I always tend to leave because I get irritated because it's not kind of going in a certain direction of, of what I what I think it should. So mm -hmm. I figured, okay, well, I'm gonna die soon. And if I keep the same pattern, nothing's gonna happen. So so anyway, I, I've been working and they're they're actually really great people and awesome. and and one of them the the ceo sort of of these of the foundation is this woman who's very gifted spiritually and she can i i don't know if she can see in other dimensions but she can she has a certain site where she can see what's attached to a person and so mm. she, she offered to us to give us a clearing and so we all said yes and i last week i had the clearing and and during the night where they were doing it, they said, I, I was lying down in my little office and I was just, you know, I lay on the floor for a couple hours and I didn't know why I was doing it, but I was just kind of laying there, kind of stunned. And then the next day found out that that's when they did the clearing and then they told me about it. And they said they removed two entities, three possessions and three curses. So that was the problem. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's over now. <laughs> what, <laughs> that <is fun. laughs> I, I know you won't believe it, but <laughs> well, I can't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> and you're just going, is that all? Come on. Well, like, like it felt like when you when you do these clearings and you if you have okay, what is how many entities that did you did you personally have this? I had yeah, this was my own personal uh, retinue or what do you that new, what do you call it? Um yeah, two entities, three possessions, three curses. So eight, eight sort of things were removed. And so, but then since then, I'm having a, you know, kind of what am I feeling? Like, like you kind of it's like waking out of a dream and, you know, you've had these kind of things on you and you don't know how many of them are pushing you a certain way or whatever it is. And there's like a, more of a kind of blankness or kind of like, again, like when I'm talking, I'm going, well, this is this is how we would do it, or this is what has to happen in order for this to work. And I can see what hasn't worked is all my life. This is what doesn't work. Okay, I understand what doesn't work. <laughs> we don't mm -hmm. get the business side of it down pat. It's not going to work. You know, if the money isn't there, it's not going to work. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I mean, you can talk about all you want and have great plans, and you know, believe me, we, you know, I can have great plans. But <laughs> yeah, part of the spin yeah. is staying in the plan. So many different parts of it. And that's, that's what I'm, oh, yeah, I'm really experiencing this too, like, God. Like you got, like, whatever it is, there's certain things you have to focus on, and you have to focus yeah. on, like, if you're painting houses, you're focusing on painting the house. Like, you have, you can do all these things, but you have to finish painting the house before you get paid. Mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. and when you're a creator, making your socks and you're making your little holders and you're making all these things you just keep creating which is mm -hmm. fantastic but at some point you got to take one of them and do it a thousand times and make money and make money and repeat yourself. <laughs> yeah Versus. make money and that's got to be your thing because if you don't have that then you're not yeah then you're it ain't gonna go and you're leaking out somewhere <laughs> else um yeah, I've heard that like a lot of times entities and stuff can uh, reattach if you're doing the same thing. So whatever it is, keep staging yourself. <laughs> you know, it felt like I was trying, I was describing as a metaphor of a train. <clears throat> and I had these these people on the train that I, I'm kind of like the train conductor and I can't leave my place, but I just know that people are stealing the wood. They're upsetting the food. They're all the shit's happening on the train but I, I can't find them and i don't know who they are but i just know they're there mm -hmm. i see the wake and now it feels like they all left the train and i'm the train's so quiet and I, I, don't even, I don't even know why i'm on this train anymore I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> like where am i going <laughs> let's see 
Uh, like it's interesting, like the, what, what we're doing is we're dividing the program into the first three months as personal growth, second three months is group coherence, then the th third three months is collective intelligence. Hmm. And so, and the gene keys are going to be prominent in the beginning. And then there's another uh, architect there who's got a magic canoe. He's got some nice stuff with more group, group cohesion kind of things, things that I don't kind of have. And then, but I'm sort of, I've been putting forth, I gave them a set of conversation cards, uh, showed them a synergy map, uh, little bits and pieces, not the whole thing, but bits and pieces that they're kind of missing that together with these other people's uh, gifts mm -hmm. could, could come up with something pretty interesting. At least that's what they, they, they're hoping for. Mm -hmm. And they're all spiritually guided, like their whole found it like if you go to the CL foundation you'll see that they went to find L-E and then C-I-E-L. One of my I think one of was the entity was it agreed for knowledge. <laughs> Everything that they said I went yeah 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 but the curse, I had a curse on my family name and they, they didn't remove it off the family because I guess karma has got to be dealt with, but they removed it off of me. Really? So it was like Ignatiev or? Yeah, some, so there's something that happened in the past where we got cursed. <laughs> I could see it was probably with Michael. Yeah. <laughs> he, was, he, was, he was hated for quite yeah. a while from a, quite a lot of people because, you know, because he sort of betrayed the left in a sense. Mm. He made such a bad move. He sort of supported the Gulf War, I think, at some point. He was supporting the war. And then he left. I mean, I mean, he, he lost a lot of supporters. He thought mm. he had betrayed his principles. Mm. Did, uh, does your mom keep a good record? Of? Of your, curses? Of your, no, of your ancestry. Well, we have a... We have a book about our family. Um, mm -hmm. Did you ever, did you ever about it? Better than, <laughs> did I ever tell you about that? No. It's called the Russian album. If you look, if you, uh, my my cousin wrote it. It talks about you know when my grandfather and his family left Russia, right? They had quite a, a different life in Russia. Hmm. They were part of the aristocracy. Oh, and cool. It, my great grandfather supposedly was one of the last ministers of education for Russia. Hmm. And he didn't get killed because he supposedly, he, he's, he put something forward that would have the Polish people learn their own language, <laughs> way to go. <laughs> so one of the camps they were held at uh, was run by some Pole, but, but he had a, a decent name with the people, so he wasn't killed. Hmm. So our family is one of the few families to get, I don't know, a few families, but a lot of families were killed, right? Yeah. Gosh. But like all that stuff from those times, like, well, a lot of stuff, we did not take in consideration all the other like spiritual stuff that happened during that time or, you know, what was going on inside. Like it was kind of a disconnected in that way, I feel. Uh, well, maybe like in a way, like, that um, you just had to survive, you know, like it was basically survival over, you know, and this is how you do it, you know, and it's laid out for you. And we all kind of, I don't know, but we were able to be creative. We were able to have, to do things like, like your great grandfather was like, well, you know, learning a language, like actually doing things that people would pick up and learn. Um, oh, cool. Awesome. <laughs> uh, I noticed a lot of that when, when I went to Ontario and just reading about my family and stuff, I just said, like, wow, this is so important. Looking back at it and being like, wow, this is what we did. These are the traits that I have in me that are the same as my great, great grandfather or my great grandfather. It's just like, oh, he was this kind of a man. And this is like, oh, no wonder why I like that. No wonder why I enjoy, you know, knowledge or I enjoy a good joke, right? Because mm -hmm. 
because uh, yeah, because it's passed down in your genes, and also all your your crap too, <laughs> all the stuff that makes it really hard, and that's why all these people come into your life that are really challenging at times, right? Because it's like that archetype that you need to learn, yeah, yeah learn and fix it, set it right. Mm -hmm. So I was thinking all along, you know how, yeah, so I'm super spinny, you know that, I've got all these different ideas, I want to do all these things, you always tell me I should do it this way or that way or this way, <laughs> and I'm like, well, it just doesn't all like go like this yet, you know, it doesn't like go in, um, and then all of a sudden I was like, oh my gosh, this is it, this maybe it and I was thinking to just keep my spinning ninny as a focus point for just certain a few things not everything <laughs> um and then I was thinking yeah with this space like we definitely need to do something or start something in the world and I think it's has to start small which because we're everybody's down here everybody is like ground level mentality well not everybody but i mean like there's there's a lot that need to be brought up and um i always think yes lead by an example do you know do the best i can but this whole time and this whole like for years of owning my business it's like i've always kind of envisioned like a like an adult and children's field trip space <laughs> like a place for a field trip um and then eventually that kind of moving into like yeah homeschool programs and stuff like that or just a basic support system so that people get to know what it's like to be in a in a community that is supportive um with everything that you know that anyone can utilize at any time and be full and creative capacity. Um, yeah, so it's always been a lot bigger than what I've um, been able to actually, you know, make happen for myself or anything. And I think that's the same <laughs> with you in a way. It's like a big, huge thing, right? Which is like way up here with tears all the way down. It's like, well, how do I make the first step? Because <laughs> it's way high up there, you know? Or do you work down or like what? Yeah, which way do you do it? So basically, um, let's have a baby. No. <laughs> here I go with the baby thing. The business baby. I'm thinking about... But we I guess we've all really kind of like we've known it for years. And we've had inklings and little things, but then every single time in any project, um, if you don't have a good structure, if you don't have a good solid foundation, there's like so many leaks and there's so many things that could happen that just cause chaos and then it dies right um and there's yeah there's almost there's got to be a yeah i think a communication room is definitely what people need I think, or what society needs and but there's got to be little baby steps on how to not be a dick how to not be you know how to not be an asshole it's really important um to yourself and to others and just learning how to be <clears throat> kind. <Pardon me. coughs> Cody. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and I just, I was like, what if it all ties together? Collective space, your uh, communication room, the spinning ninny, everything that we possibly could need. <laughs> and shared and i think the most the biggest thing is is learning how to share and care again so that's why i think the ninny news will help with that um i better get that done 
or the society collapses. Um. <laughs> Why will the, the Nini need help with that? Um, because I'm going to bring it back to the ground level of basic, like bringing in the school of conscious communication and showing how to, and, and different examples of how to communicate. Um, gosh, the other day I could have just been like, are you, are you kidding me? You know, you come into my store and you're giving me this like poor me attitude. So this person comes in blah, blah, blah. and then of course, <laughs> first it's like, I'm dying. I don't have, and I'm like, you're not dying. <laughs> and I just, <laughs> and it's like, boom. Like, <laughs> the person's like, you don't want to listen to me. And you do, 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 do. And you just, you're, you know, and then it's just like a whole flip out on me. So a poor me goes to a flip out because yeah, yeah. Of the way that I communicated in the middle of me, like moving Christmas lights and doing a whole bunch of stuff. Like I've got 20 things on my mind. I'm in my store. Like I'm not focused. Is this someone, on is this someone you know, or just Matt? Uh, someone I know. So yeah, yeah, this happens daily. Like I've got people that I know that come in and, you know, I usually hold, I'm like able to hold space for people pretty good. But when it comes to like me actually wanting to focus and get things done, it's like, this does not work. Your problems, like, pick up, yeah, if you want to talk to me about your problems and you want me to listen, then, you know, then sit down and like start tagging things for me in my store or something, you know, like, so I can actually uh, still take care of my customers and then still get stuff done. Because a lot of times it's just like these interruptions are just like, and then it's like the whole day, right? It's like, not the whole day, I, I didn't let it bother me, but I mean like, oh, and then I say to the poor, do you need a hug? You know, you just want to hug because you want to feel better about yourself. I was like, okay, <laughs> well, see you later. <laughs> I'm like, hopefully oh, yeah, I worked that through <laughs> because all I see in that is like, a lot of projection and a lot of like, you know, just people when they go through things, they they pick someone to dump on sometimes. And it's not, um, and I realize where it's coming from. And I, you know, it's just like, it's very unnecessary. So if I say I had a, um, I had an actual space where people was with focus, you know, intention to that or time, right? Then it would be, yeah, I gotta, and I, of course, I'm always gotta work on my boundary work, um, but yeah, there's gotta be a way that I could just be like, yo, freaking out. <laughs> oh, tell me your soft story, go write it down. <laughs> Do you bring them out when yeah. they're doing it? Stop it with this for me. <laughs> Butting into my life. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Then I couldn't just like drop, throw a, throw a conscious communication ball at their head. Boing. Well, it could be kind of like you know, ninja <laughs> kind of, and they and you, you get really good at hitting them in the head. Yeah. And then they have to what? They gotta pick it up. Start your neck. Yeah. Think about it. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Okay, well, I think I gotta go soon. So if you're, yeah, me too. I think Cody wants to meet up or whatever. Um, but yeah, I, I guess I just wanted to kind of like I see that space and I can see it as being um, an excellent communication room. Uh, but not only that. Tying it all together would be like Cody's collective space and the stuff that Spinning Ninny does, the stuff that they do. So, but, you know, and how how awesome would it be to start people off with realizing, okay, like this is how we can work together as a community. We've got this network here that can help with personal problems, with your, you know, getting things printed, whatever you need, right? Um, nice little space or or a workshop or. <clears throat> You know, places that there's like, yeah, this actual um, providing support for everyone. I'm feeling like 
it would be pretty cool to yeah kind of make a hub where it all kind of works in together and and we really start working on supporting each other in a real way um our emotional needs our physical needs and our um you know what are we talking about here our mind body and spirit you know all that stuff <laughs> well I, I would just say i mean send me the blueprints that you, if you could get it um I mean, again, it's, I think everything's based on the schedule. It's based on, you know, how yeah. is that space used for which time by who, how much does it cost? Stuff, mm -hmm. stuff that Cody all worked out in many different ways. And then, I mean, what I saw, he basically just handed it over to the renters. And that's my guess. I mean, who wants to just run a space, right? I mean, you, you know, Cody's got so much potential for so many things. He does, yeah. Um, and it's, you know, for me, I, I have, you know, I have had a very strong, I like specific practical idea about the communication room and the community, you know, I have actual tools, I have actual schedule, you know, I built it. It isn't mm -hmm. an idea. It's not a maybe. It's not, we hope so. I've done it. It's so brilliant. Mm -hmm. to me when, you know, there, there's a difference between originators and other people. Yeah. And. You know, I, I'm not, I don't know, like, I mean, I, I, I just, I have a very little tolerance for flimsy ideas right now, or just talking yeah. about in this manner, like, it, to me, it's, it's not going forward. Mm -hmm. like get, this, get the specifics done, get the practicalities done. You know, if you want me to pay attention to it, make, you know, make sure you're bringing me something real. Mm -hmm. But other than that, I, I'm going to focus on OCL. I'm focusing on my own stuff. Oh, totally. Yeah. This is and, um, this is just know, something you know, to me. It's, it's manifest, a, and I'm wondering if it if it's a go or not, or I'm just it's at the um, hmm stage, right? So yeah. I wanted to I wanted to run it by you. Um. Yeah, and I, and I was speaking quite generally, like yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. Well, I, I guess without my self sabotage pattern or my whatever was in there, what's left is this kind of empty, huh? Uh, okay. Now, what am I going to do with what I got? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And, and maybe that's the thing. Yeah. Like everybody. You know, I, I, I want, I want to be around like interested learners who want to learn about multidimensional thinking, who want to learn how to program value fields. You know, I want to learn about people, you know, who, who people who are directly interested in learning at least what I've created. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. that's it. Well, yeah, it's the only, that's how you, <laughs> that's how you, yeah, can do your work, right? So. You know, and, and it looks like I just need working examples of it working. And so, you know, you have for quite a bit of time said you wanna participate in school conscious communication. Mm -hmm. uh, to me, you have, you know, a back area that isn't utilized for your revenue streams mm -hmm. and, and you need to create new revenue streams. Mm -hmm. and, and so, and you want to teach conscious communication. Yeah. So, so to me, you, you have to set up a, like, it depends you either, you know, it depends on how much you want to learn from me and then use whatever I teach you or the stuff you want to do on your own. Mm -hmm. you, you've never actually had any like direct courses from me. You've never like, paid me money to learn what I have, right? Mm, no, I don't think so. So no, it's, it, I haven't it's, like gone a, through a full, a weird, like... it's just a weird relationship in terms of how I have with many people. I have these weird relationships because we're, we're anomalies or we're people who we can't fit anywhere else. <laughs> so we, we hang out together because we can't really talk to anyone else about what we want to talk about and who we are, right? True. So yeah. at the end of the day, it's kind of like, you're kind of like, looking for friends, <laughs> anybody who's going to have any interest in whatever you're really stimulated in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then if you want to take it from there into a, a true business relationship, then you, you have, to, as I said, you have to have agreements around, you know, basic things around selling car sets and um, licensing, whatever the tools are and what that business relationship is and how much support I have to give you, how much training I have to give you and what you're willing, you know, what you're giving back in return. And, you know, 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, real. Otherwise, when you get into the, the friendship area, as we said, things break down because the reference point for why you're even connecting, you know, is, is missed. And, and it's, yeah. it's like at my age, you know, I need business partners. I don't need friends. It doesn't mean I want to be friendly with all my business partners, but friendship to me is a very strange thing. Like it's, it's, a, it's very come and go. It's very, if I like you or if I don't, and business is more, no, I mean, we're, we have a business here where we're, we have a business relationship. These are the parameters for it. And, and it's good for both of us when we stick to them. Mm -hmm. But if we go too far into someone else's, let's say, romantic life, it don't go, right? <laughs> it, it don't go. And so I don't, you know, <laughs> I think the love prophet ended the love prophet show. I, I don't want to. I yeah, it's <laughs> over. I don't want to deal with that anymore. I don't want to deal with other people's yeah. romantic problems. We just need to learn how to change our own socks. <laughs> I don't want to hear about them. <laughs> and yeah. If any people I know get involved with each other, either I'm going to write them both off or at the beginning say, look, go deal with it. I'll see you in a couple of years. <laughs> yeah. This isn't, yeah. But not... it, it hasn't worked out for me and it's it's not going to. Yeah, not my path. <laughs> yeah for sure um but yeah we are all humans um <laughs> the funny part, the funny part is, is is that from the people who aren't asleep then there's the people who are awake and, and most of them are pretty nuts so as it is right because they're so disconnected mm -hmm. from a real community type environment so yeah well, yeah, and then there's just little things that come out and yeah, there's personality traits that are like ingrained in there that are just just completely dysfunctional, but they've been using them their whole lives. It's kind of hard to it's kind of hard to uh, just be like, look, here's a reality check. This is what's happening. Um, now, <laughs> deal with that, please, and then talk to me. Or, yeah, like, too bad. There's hey, just... there, there might be something where the LCL were looking for facilitators, and I think they might have 10. They might need 20. I'm not sure if they do, but I don't know. They said they're using the seeds currency. I, I don't know. Right now, we don't have funding, so everything's kind of like, do it on your own. But there will be facilitator training. Uh, I don't know if you want to be one of those facilitators, but I think it would be quite a good experience. Yeah. But it would demand, you know, a, a commitment over a period of a year to a certain team to help mm -hmm. them go forward. I mean, essentially, you know, if they, they're going to get bits of the info matrix. And so it would be a practical, it'd be like a practicum for you. Mm -hmm. For seeing how to facilitate teams online and then how to introduce different different pieces mm -hmm. i don't know if you're interested in that but there, i don't there's only a few people that i know that have any idea what i'm talking about that you know i'm, I'm going to offer to and see if the lcl team needs them so think about okay that. yeah i'll think about that and i'll see if i i'll check out the the site and stuff and, and check it all out yeah. but it's um, going to be the, the main probably one of the main focuses for next year so yeah, it seems like a good one. That's great. Finally, yeah, like people coming together. Like yeah, really. you love the people. You love the people. That's awesome. Okay. Yeah, I'm liking that. Uh huh. Uh huh. Um, so I mean, what I would just say is, you know, for if you're if you're really looking at this other space, you know, just sit down and and look at you know what functions are needed and what parts of the city could go there and you know maybe it's a combination of like 10 people right that get the space for somebody gets it thursday night somebody gets it wednesday night somebody you know yeah 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 definitely you'd have to be all scheduled and all that i'll have um i'll have a chat with uh cody today see how that goes and um yeah i'm just letting the universe bring it or not and we'll see Whatever more blocks I may have to go through. Check. Okay. But have a great day. You too. Nice to talk to you. All right. And uh, I'll talk to you soon. <laughs>